The biggest news network in the world, CNN, just got Thailand mixed up with Taiwan multiple times in the same segment. It pissed some people off, David. It's going viral. Let's talk about why this is a bigger deal than you might think. Yeah, Andrew, this is going viral on Twitter in Thailand. This is going viral on Twitter in Taiwan. Guess where it's not going viral? Where? America. Exactly. Why people are mad because basically people are saying CNN is the number one news network in the entire world. Of course, number one in the Western world as well. And basically saying this kind of shows what they think about Asia and Western society. They're careless. Yeah, they just are careless. They do not care about differentiating between different countries. Andrew, we got three major takeaways, Andrew. Let us know in the comments section below. Do you think it's a big deal? Is it not a big deal? Let us know. Like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, Andrew. We got to get into point one. How much slack does CNN deserve? Because maybe somebody had New Real Men. Maybe somebody had Pat CU in the same day. And when they're typing it out, going Bangkok, Taiwan on the New Year's Eve broadcast, Andrew, maybe... They're just in Atlanta, Georgia, where the capital of CNN is. And I, 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 you know, I had the noodles, the broad noodles, and then I had the, the new room. Yeah, I got confused. This is a goofy mistake. They get zero slack. Zero slack from me because CNN is the global news source. David, I quote, we quote these articles all the time. I'm relying on CNN to give me the correct information. That doesn't mean they can never make mistakes, but this mistake is kind of stupid. It went on for like minutes. Right. We're talking right? about a company yeah. that is like worth hundreds no. and hundreds of millions guys, of dollars. Guys, by the way, this is not just a Fung Bros YouTube video typing one thing out and then we get like an, a typo wrong on a video. This well, is... Multiple people in the newsroom, correspondents across the world that are in different places getting this wrong. Okay, on a more micro level, Andrew, do you agree that people in America tend to more know about like where their heritage is from though? Yeah. Like, could you say that white Americans or European Americans know more about Europe? And for example, we know a lot of people in New York that are from the Caribbean. They yeah. tend to know more about yeah. the Caribbean than yeah. like your average person. Latin American people tend to know more yeah. about Latin America. Asians tend to know more about Asian America. Sure. How does America work that way when it's like people Obviously, you get your base level schooling in, in your public school or private school that you went to. But then there's also like, I guess, the experiences and the osmosis of knowledge you get from just like the circles you run in. Listen. So maybe the guy who's topping it out, Andrew, I just don't hang out with that many Asians, man. Most of my friends are Korean and nah. Atlanta. I didn't know about Taiwan and Thailand. How can you fault me, man? Man, trust me. Listen, if you're a 10th grader and you make this mistake, <laughs> fine. If you're the... Uh, no offense, a cashier at CVS. I don't, I'm not going to trip about this. is not a big deal. If you're CNN, also the fact, this, here's another thing that really boggles my mind sometimes. I'm like, Taiwan is mentioned in the news all the time right now. Right. As for the semiconductor, is, is China going to invade Taiwan? Oh my gosh, Taiwan, US, America, blah, blah, blah. What's going to happen? In the, it's like a key piece in a lot of news right now. But CNN, this global news network, also the people who did No Reservations or Parts Unknown right. with, with and they Anthony do a Bourdain. bunch of those food lists that are like super international. Obviously, it's a, a team of different writers. Know, but, but I'm just saying, basically, they make this mistake. There's a bunch of people involved. It's not the biggest mistake. It's not the most heinous crime. I get it. I'm not crying about it i'm just saying it's kind of a goofy mistake to make somebody when needed you're... to just watch one youtube video i think there's like 10 youtube videos literally describing the difference between taiwan and thailand one used to be called formosa one used to be called siam you know listen, one is mahayana buddhism one is theravada buddhism listen guys i think this is a call out to all asian americans to do more research on youtube so we mm. even know asia better than anybody would think that we should like right. I, I think different Asians know different levels but I think that we all got to do our own independent research and not only that we got to speak out and correct people because Andrew one thing that is true and I know Asia is very diverse is that we're kind of quiet when people oh, yeah. get things wrong around us we're not going to like necessarily be super aggressive and like punk you to like get you corrected but maybe we should bring it up because otherwise people are just going to keep getting it wrong forever. Yeah, that's true. Which leads us to our second point is that a lot of people feel very comfortable overrating how much they know about or, Asian or getting, stuff. getting like statements about Asia wrong. Yeah. People of, feel pretty comfortable about that. And I have people care. argue to my face before about like, no, nah, Pat Sewell's from Taiwan. Yeah, no, seriously, man. Like people out there, they know a little bit about Asia. So think that's cool. Thank you. Thankful that Asia is a relevant part of the world. Right, I guess a lot of uh, manufacturing, yeah. uh, cultural products, anime, K-pop, kung fu, uh, Muay Thai, but, and a lot of, like I guess, physical products. I guess a lot of people can pick it up and be like, oh, yeah, this one's from Thailand. This but I guess the Taiwan. truth is, David, and I think most Asian Americans have gone through this, someone that you're talking to that you just met or that you don't want to interrupt 
just said something that was wrong, like information wise about Asia. And then you just let it slide and you let them keep talking and you didn't correct them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think we've all been in that situation. Let's be honest. At least once in our life. Yeah. Where probably in a way that probably my African or Latin American or Caribbean or whatever, you know, Middle Eastern friends, they probably, I'm not saying 10 out of 10, but they would be more statistically likely to speak up and correct yeah. somebody. I think for sure. Asians need to do a better job of correcting people in the moment, not being mad about it, seeing it as an honest mistake. Let's give people the benefit of the doubt. It's an honest mistake. Usually when you're talking to them in person, right? And they slip up and you say, oh yeah, by the way, blah, blah, blah. By the way, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and I'm then they leave it at that. Because sometimes it's just, you're so Asian. You just want to get the whole interaction over with because you just like cringe internally and then you kind of let it go. I, do you think it also has something to do with like Asians kind of allowing Western people to have like, if their knowledge is above one out of 10, like let's say they even get to 1.5 or two out of 10 knowledge of the East, we give them hella props. No, like any NBA player that goes, oh, ni hao, she she, xing ne kuai le. Everybody's like, oh. Right. <laughs> not next Lee high, Lee high, Lee high. In China, they're not going to demand that NBA players add a new sentence every year, oh, right? Hey, they're like, oh, they're like wow. Hey, they'll be like, wow, I need someone to mahal. And oh. then you just like, man, you just said ni hao. Like, wow, la mellow ball. You <laughs> sure can speak Mandarin. Wow, you do a really good job. You're <laughs> so cultured for repeating what Betty yeah, told. Yeah, I you do think do. that Asians, maybe in the future, as like Asia status, like begin to rise like Asia as a, as a whole in a macro sense, like people will be, I don't want to say like mad at people, but more gently nudging people to, to give yeah. more than the minimum. Like, like I said, guys, I'm not here to accuse people. I'm not saying that these people at CNN are super ignorant, blah, 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 whatever. I mean, maybe they were a little tipsy off that, you know, New Year's right. champagne. Or, like a lot of CNN people like to get drunk. But Damn it's a cool. goofy thing to do if you're the news network. Yeah, for the like number we, one news source bro, in the world, man. I rely on CNN for the news. Yeah, this isn't like uh, Kansas City Tribune and uh, no diss to Kansas City. Shout out to the Jayhawks. Uh, great people out in Kansas City, yeah. actually, Dave. If you ever go there, you should try their barbecue. Do you but, think, Andrew, that this was being framed as a Democrat versus Republican issue? Because some people are saying, well, you know, CNN, that's the mouthpiece of the Democratic Party. They always say they're all about the whole world and every single person should love them. If you are any ethnicity or any culture, but guess what? They don't really care about you. They're just trying to get your vote. Look at them. They don't even separate Thailand and Taiwan, at least over on our side. We would know the difference. I'm not saying we'd put it on our New Year's, you know, type of broadcast because that's not what our audience is trying to see. You know, fireworks out in Bangkok. They're trying to watch The Hangover 4 in Bangkok, maybe. Or, you know what I mean? Like, basically, people are saying, uh, you know, I guess Republicans would make the argument that, like, yeah, see, we're not Nancy Pelosi getting Taiwan and China mixed up in Taiwan. We're not Kamala Harris getting South Korea and North Korea getting mixed up yeah. at the DMZ. We'd never do that. Yeah, I mean... They've made their fair share of mistakes, I'm sure. And, you know, I think Trump has too. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I guess from their perspective, if I had to put myself in their shoes, they're probably thinking like, hey, man, you know, we think about things a little bit more adversarial and a little bit more warlike. More tribalistic, and, right? And, and, and if we're being tribal, I'm going to know the other tribe. I'm not going to make a mistake. If China's the enemy, I know it's China and it's not <laughs> Taiwan. Right. I got to know that enemy. Instead, like the tree huggers on the left that's getting everybody yeah. mixed up in, uh, in one thing. And then CNN's probably like, well, we were trying to be inclusive and hey. we were trying to show the Asian celebrations and we wanted to show how, how, how the rest of the world is celebrating it, but we made a mess up all day. Hey. Jeez. To be fair, some of the warmest people in Asia are probably in Taiwan and Thailand, though. Like the, so nice. Like, Taiwanese people are probably the smiliest of East Asia, and Thailand could be the smiliest of Southeast Asia. So who knows? Maybe Kap they should have said that as a way to catch their mess up instead of going with the Chiang Mai food tour thing. Kapkum kap. Yeah. yeah, CNN, you, you got us mixed up. It's okay. Yeah, we still don't like you. Okay. Yeah. No, but... Uh, Taiwanese, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... Uh, we, uh, we felt like we built the semiconductors. You know, we deserve a little bit. You, you, you should know where <laughs> no, they come No, I, I think Taiwanese people were the most pissed, to be honest. Because <laughs> yeah. Taiwan is like, yo, guys, are wait, are we important or not? Are you guys talking about us every right. other <laughs> week in the news or not? Like, what are you doing? I mean, just my final takeaway, Andrew, is that just... Uh, America is such a funny country. You have all the best colleges in the world here, right? So you can use them or not. But your base level education you get about geography globally, let alone Asia, Andrew, is probably like a three out of 10 at best. So you got 
like, and in knowledge about Asia, would you agree with me, Andrew? I'm not saying it won't change in the future. It's not necessary to thrive in America. No. Even for like Asian Americans, wow. unless you're operating within the Asian community. Oh, you could be a millionaire in America and like you a, not know like the a difference. Like millionaire. Yeah, make a lot of money and you don't have to know the difference between Taiwan and Thailand. You probably know China just because you probably buy materials and manufacturing from China at some point in your or you're multi-million. Or you to sell your product dollars. to that consumer yeah, market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you do not have to be well-educated in Asia to thrive in America. Of course not. No, you just need to know the systems in America. And that's why America is such an interesting place. You can be so rich and so successful and be ignorant to the outside world for the most part. I'm right, not because saying- it's a hypercharged internal economy versus a lot of other countries where they have to rely on the whole globe to live, essentially. Well, that's why America's great. We ain't got to worry about other people's problems. We can just think about ourselves here and make money from the circular economy that we got from here capitalism right which really has a lot of pros and cons and obviously a lot of people like it because that's why they come here but you know let us know what you think in the comment section below guys is cnn getting taiwan and thailand constantly mixed up is it good bad honest mistake or what what does it mean all right everybody thank you so much for watching please let us know in the comments down below and please hit that like button all right until next time we out Peace. peace